Hi everybody, welcome to Taste Test Tuesday. Now on today's Taste Test Tuesday, uh, I got a variety of different things to try. Uh, a little taste of fall. I got a couple things here that come out, you know, around this time of year that we're gonna be trying. But the first thing that I'm gonna have to drink is the Aritos Tamarind right here. This did come from Walmart. Uh, so we're going to give this a try. I do have some water over here also. So let's give this tamarind. I don't smell anything, you know, unusual. I don't know what tamarind is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to taste like. I, it's good. I taste a little um, citrus in there. I don't know. I might be wrong, but I taste a little bit of citrus in that. Okay. So the and it's it's pretty good from what I could taste of it. You know, that's all I'm getting is like, um, it's not that sweet. Uh, let's see. There's 140 calories in this per serving in one bottle. And the sugars are 35 grams, includes 35 grams. So, but it, it's not that, it doesn't taste that sweet to me. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to try are uh, these. Now, I have no idea what to expect with this. Brock's makes these. They're Funfetti candy corn. So I don't know, is it going to taste like Funfetti, but it's just shaped in candy corn? Or is it going to have that candy corn flavor? Uh, it doesn't really say on here, but it does look like it's going to be birthday cake. Flavored, but they did it in can't. But it says candy corn, so maybe just candy corn shape. All right, let's try it. Get one out of here. That's what it looks like. Okay. It's got the same texture of candy corn, if you know what I mean. It's got that same texture. But it tastes like the Funfetti frosting. Mm. Very sweet. I don't know about how many of these you'll be able to eat at once, but It does have that texture of, a, of candy corn. I don't, I like candy corn. I really don't, it has an aftertaste. I really don't care for that. Okay, let's have some more of this. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna try uh, these. These came from the Dollar Tree, limited edition. These always come out around this time of year. It's the word is maple cream soft caramels. So let's give this a try. I don't think I tried the maple ones. I'll hold the nutrition facts up. If you want to screenshot it and look at it, you can do that because I don't know how long my voice is going to hold out on this. <clears throat> All right, let's give this a try, shall we? Let's see if it smells like maple. Call it maple cream. It smells like, um, to me, I don't smell maple. 
It smells like burnt caramel to me. Oh, it's maple. Right there. See the center? The scent is the maple cream. Caramel on the outside. Maple cream on the inside. Mmm. If you like maple, you'll like that. I'll be here chewing it all day if I put the whole thing in my mouth, so I'm not going to do that. All right. Next thing we're going to try is the Little Debbie Pumpkin Spice Rolls. You get six cake rolls. You can get this at Walmart. Any store that sells Little Debbie, I guess. And as you can see, they got all the fall leaves and the pumpkins and everything on it. Cute packaging. Right there. Let me show you. So, oh, it tells you where the name pumpkin came from. It's a Greek word, pepo, meaning large melon. Pumpkins are fruit. They contain seeds, but when it comes to cooking, they're often referred to as a vegetable. So this is what it looks like. <clears throat> a lot of information about the pumpkin on the back. So let's give this a try. It looks like it's got a lot of cream in it. So this is a sp pumpkin spice roll. Little Debbie. And it's got the frosting on the bottom. Oh, I smell big pumpkin spice in here. Mmm. Mmm. Big pumpkin spice flavor. Maybe a tad too much spice. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe a tad too much spice. The cream is really good in this. And they really packed it. So, mm, they're not bad. Not bad at all. But again, very sweet. 27 grams includes 27 grams. Not getting too much of a flavor on that. Just a little citrus. What's tamarind anyway? Not sure. Okay. Now I'm gonna try maybe two more things and we'll make it a short taste test Tuesday today. This I've never seen before. This is a limited edition and it's Cinna Fuego Toast Crunch. And it's sweet cinnamon heat. That's what it looks like. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a naturally flavored sweetened cereal. So this is cereal. But it's with heat right there. So this ought to be interesting, right? Cinnamon, cinnamon heat. Let's give it a smell. Oh, Ooh. big cinnamon flavor. You know, cinnamon candies. That's exactly what this this smells like. The round cinnamon discs. You know, the hard candy. This is what that smells like. Just like it. You wouldn't even know this was cereal. 
Here we go. Let's try one. I imagine if you have it with milk, it'll cool it down. Oh, yeah, they're hot. Woo! They're like the... Whoa! <clears throat> Wasn't expecting that. Woo, it's hot. Yeah. That's me. Whew. In milk, it would cool it down. It's like eating those little red hots. You know, the candy, the red hots, and you popped them in your mouth as a kid and you chewed them. Ugh. That's what that is. Whew. One is enough. I'm gonna have my grandson try this one. Oh. Why, why would they do that? Why would they do that to cereal? Why? I don't know, but I should have had that on my hot taste test Tuesday. But I think it's cinnamon toast, right? That's kind of like a fall, a fall thing. And then my grandson opened these. He tried it. Um, he didn't care for them. It's the limited edition where there's in the pumpkin spice. So I'm going to give this a try. And again, soft caramels, harvest caramels. They have a new one out too that I'll show you in a Dollar Tree haul. They came out with the new where there's caramel. All right, I smell pumpkin. Let's give it a try. Now this, I don't see a middle. Oh, excuse me. That made my nose run and made me burp. Mmm. I don't blame them. I don't care for them. Mm-mm. Nope. So, The spice is there. These have more of a spice taste than those. Mm. I don't care for those. Okay, I'm gonna have a drink of this again. And I'm gonna call that's it for Taste Test Tuesday for today. I did like this. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but to me, it has a citrusy flavor. Mmm. It's not sweet at all. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I don't care for those. The pumpkin spice. These are, these are good. I like the cream in them, but if you don't like big strong flavor of the pumpkin spice you won't like this because it it's got a big big pumpkin spice flavor to it the funfetti if you like funfetti frosting you'll like these but like i said it has the texture of candy corn the regular kind um i wasn't a fan of that either no these are hot very hot. We have to try these with milk. That's what I should have done. I should have put it in milk and tried it that way. Maybe I'll hang on to them and I'll do a little taste test with milk next time on that. And I like these. I thought these were really good. The maple creams, I like these a lot. Well, I like maple. I like maple syrup. The real maple syrup, not the fake stuff. And this was really, really good. I like that a lot. So that's it for Taste Test Tuesday for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, tell me if you tried any of these things before and what you thought of them. Okay, guys, because like I say, everybody's taste buds are different. So <clears throat> until next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have a great day. 
And I said this all backwards, but until next time, <laughs> bye now.